Hi friends. <sighs> it is Sunday, which means I spent a lot of time right there. Most of my day has been spent there. My eyes are starting to really get allergies bother them and um you guys it's six o'clock 6 30. i can't read that's how this is how close i have to get to the oven to be able to read that time <laughs> yeah. so i'm nearing your 40s i'm going to get an allergy pill i forgot to take one this morning before we went to church so normally we don't film on sundays but i did want to like show that i do like do my makeup actually like a lot of my mascara is probably like washed off from um sleeping <laughs> <laughs> and now rubbing my eyes. But I did do my makeup today, a full face. Really like, it's just the mascara that's kind of not showing very much. I did my hair. Um, I wanted to like prop you up while I do a few things here. I am gonna sit down in a minute and start my new list um, for the week. I have, my old list isn't done yet, but it's pending all these doctors to call me back or, anyway. So I just made a new list. I'll show that to you here in a second. But I'm really quick, I'm going to transfer my purses. So you know I have my crossbody bag. I have this super cheap bag. I think it was like $8 on Shein. <laughs> the quality is like unreal. It's um, really cheap. Like the zipper is already like broken. But I just tra kind of transfer a few things. I'll show you what I transfer for church. So I don't have like a crossbody bag with my dress. Like, this is what I take to church. I have. This is what I take to church. My chapstick, mint, my little bag that has like chap, my, like like extra necessities in it. My wallet with my driver's license. Like today, I drove home, so I wanted to make sure I could steal the car <laughs> and drive home. And then chapstick and keys. That's all I had in there. I mean, it's been nice to like have a minimal wallet. Um, I did get an egg today in my class for the women. Um, they gave us a little Easter candy, but they're all gone. Ashley got her birthday uh, treat in primary today. Wasn't meant to though. Yeah, she was supposed to get it next week on her actual birthday. Let's turn you so she can you can see how cute she is. She's bored today, but she won't be there. Well, she was there today, but next week we have a conference for church, and so we don't have church. And then the there's next, something else. There's Easter next snack. Easter, which is only they're only having one hour church, so she's not going to class. And so uh, she's like, "Can I please have it? Otherwise, I won't get it for like four weeks after my birthday." <laughs> and they weren't gonna give it to me. Like, yeah, so like, she kind of had to fight for her own birthday pr present. So she did get it. I'm just putting everything back in my little crossbody bag. I have actually really like this. I wish it was a little bigger. So I'm still on the lookout for something that's a little bit bigger. But for now, this works. Actually, that's not where everything goes. I had it all in the wrong pocket. I meant to start this video earlier today when I was feeling a little bit better, but I wasn't feeling good. Okay. So. Yes. We're, we can go we're doing so Ashley was just telling me uh, yeah, I wanted to make sure I wasn't information that I couldn't share with you yes, guys. I was like, so our friend Elise is going to be on American Idol tonight. We are looking forward to starting that in about an hour and a half, and we have a fee we have received official notice from her that she is in fact on tonight's episode. It is the last tryout session that is being filmed and aired, so she is on it. And what Ashley was just telling me is that her family announced today. You can all come over you can come and watch it with well, us now dad's known it for a while dad has been um has is jason is like second cousins with our friends anyway d dad so they're technically related to us so technically we have a family member going to american idol I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah him and dad grew up in alaska together john and him grew up in alaska together and they're like second cousins so it's kind of cool we ha just haven't looked at the like ancestry of it like um jason and i are actually ninth or tenth cousins once removed <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so far back that it doesn't really matter. We're all related in some way, you know. My genealogy, uh, my family heritage, we come from Wales and they flew, you know, or they not flew. <laughs> they crossed ships from Wales directly to wow. the Americas and his lineage came from like Wales, Scotland and Ireland. And so it was inevitable that our paths would cross family generations and whatnot. But um, so many people, connect like that because so many people came from Europe um, and around the same time so anyway we are excited to watch American Idol tonight we've been super lazy today it's kind of she gets annoyed with me yes mm -hmm. you get annoyed with me that I'm super lazy on Sundays yeah she's been doing this all day Yes, because it's my day to rest. It's my day to not have to run errands and not have to run um, kids back and forth. Although we, although we have had to take Abby to work and uh, Kaylee had to work this morning, but we don't have to take her, her and Jacob are upstairs. It's my day of rest. So I don't, <laughs> if I don't have to do anything, I won't. 
so it's okay if we just have a day of rest. You were able to finish watching How to Train a Dragon, correct? You got tired when you were watching it last night, mm -hmm. and now Jacob and Kaylee are watching it upstairs. Kaylee's gonna cry. She's an animal <coughs> lover, and when she sees it, she's, she's not gonna be happy. When or she's just gonna be. She's just gonna cry. She's it's emotional. It's an emotional part. Yeah, yeah. Um, if, if animals are hurt or injured or lost or stolen in a movie, it'll get Kaylee every single time, you right? Guys, it'll make me, but then I'm like, it's just fake. Yeah, but it'll get Kaylee. So that would be kind of fun. Sorry, I have a, a, a tickle in my throat. Not fun to see her cry, no. Uh, just to kind of make fun of her. <laughs> Dad made waffles again today. It's kind of his little ritual. Get a little freezer full of waffles for Ashley and him for the week. They are protein waffles. I'm gonna ask you guys, um, what is your favorite protein powder in the vanilla flavor? And maybe we just should not have gotten vanilla bean. <sighs> I don't mind it like when we use it in things like waffles because um, the, the taste and the texture is a uh, mass in the, the texture of the waffle. But Ashley and I tried to make the protein powder frozen, or, uh, yeah, frozen lemonade yeah, from Chick-fil-A. It, Chick -fil -A. it, tasted it so was good. so bad. It tasted good in the beginning, but then the aftertaste. The aftertaste is nasty. So my question to you is what if you use a protein powder, what um, brand do you use? Because I think everyone has kind of said, from what I've seen online, I hardly ever see anyone use Orgain Vanilla. Um, I see the protein powder or the Fair Life in the bottles, like the actual like pre-made, which is expensive. Um, but I might try the caramel flavored. I might just go get a few bottles at like Target because there are some drinks made out of the caramel flavor that sound really good. And maybe even a vanilla in the Fair Life to see if that flavor is better. Um, just because like I need to like up my protein. But Fair Life, and their are, stuff gets like if you keep like if you like put it in the fridge and keep it in there for two days and don't like shake it at all. Yeah, you it have get to or chunky. Yeah, you have to drink it right away. That's why I worry about using the like pre-made bottles of it because it's like if you don't use it then it anyway. So if you have any suggestions of vanilla protein powder brands, I would prefer if I can get it at Costco. But if I can get it at Target and just test it in a smaller version of it, then I'm going to try that. Meanwhile, Jason is on the phone working on an investment deal, which is fantastic. So I'm going to let him be. It's always good to earn more money. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him. He's just on a phone call with an investor, um, the business partner of his brothers. And so we've had money invested with them for the past year, year and a half or so. so they're just kind of transferring the asset and making us earn some more money. <laughs> So that is never a bad thing. So I do you want dinner, Ash? Kaylee and Jacob went to get McDonald's, which we don't normally shop on Sundays, but she's almost 18. So she and he is not in our family, so I can't tell him what to do. I did have lunch, a good lunch today. I had my peppers and cucumbers and cottage cheese and my leftover chicken from Chick-fil-A. Abby decided she didn't want that yesterday, or she forgot, and I got to it first. But we are trying to get the fridge um like use what we've got. We are going to Costco tomorrow but we haven't told the kids. We're not getting all the regular stuff. We're trying to use the, the stuff we've got in the fridge and even in the freezer um, just because we, we've like overstocked. Like we just opened this bag of chips but I had three bags of them in this bin for like a week. And I'm like, use the food, people. Use it before you open a new bag. And so I'm just trying to like, not just because we're gonna go on vacation soon, we're far enough away that that's, that's not the point. It's just that I'm buying extra stuff and we aren't using what we currently have. Ooh, Annie's mac and cheese. Does that sound yum? She's not really a mac and cheese kid anymore, but I think I will make that because I know Chelsea will, and Abby will eat that. I shouldn't eat that, but I'm just wanting something easy. Ashley has sore ears, right? Yeah, yeah. She, we, we took her earrings out for her last cheer performance and forgot to put them back in. Well, no, it wasn't even a cheer game, pra like the first day. Pra Oh, practice. So it's been a couple weeks since we put earrings in. We just forgot. Yeah, I kind of had to re-poke it through. So it's a little sore. Go get some Neosporin and put on it. Yes, we do. Uh, I found it's either out in the bathroom here or up in my bathroom. I know for sure there's a bottle of it. That just means that you have to make the effort. Yeah. Yes. So I thought I would show you my new little um, page for my notebook just because I don't have anything on it yet. I don't actually think they coordinate. These are two different like sets of stickers or whatever, but I try to tie it in with the color. So, but now I can't take off like one or the other. So it is what it is. <laughs> um, but I, I like doing this kind of stuff. I've got a little mini list for Costco going, but I kind of realized that maybe you guys want to see, no, maybe you would, Ashley's making fun of me. Maybe you want to see what my Costco list is for Hawaii. 
Hi. Um, I I literally plan my list ahead of time so that I just know from experience in the past we are exhausted when we get to Hawaii and you have to go get food right away and you have to go to Costco right away because it's in Maui. It's on and that side sleep. of the island. If you have to go to Costco. Yes, you cannot go to sleep that night unless you've gone to Costco because I hate making the trek over the other side of the island the next day. All you want to do is start your vacation the next day. So we make the effort to go to Costco right from the airport. That's why we're taking our Costco bag so that we can like fill them all up and be able to put the food into the car because we will still have our luggage with us. We've just done this many times. And in case you are new to the Hanua Kai, staying at the Hanua Kai, you have this happen at other um, resorts as well, but the Hanua Kai has their, their little concierge valet guy. He will bring the big black bucket um, from Costco, actually from Costco, and they are on their own little luggage cart and you put all of your Costco food into those black bins and they take it to your room for you along with your luggage. That's why we take our little Costco bags, those recycle ones, because we load those up with our Costco food and then it just right into the black bins. They put the lid on it. They stack them all up in their little, you know, because we have sodas, we have pog drinks, we have apple juice. We have like a ton of stuff. We just put it all into those bins and then they take it into the back service elevators and they tell it, take it right to your room. And so it makes it so much easier. So what also makes it easier is making your list ahead of time. And unfortunately the Costco in Hawaii does not have the same layout as our Costco does. A lot of them do, but I, I make my list based on location of food in the store. So when I make it for going to the store here, we start and we go directly to the fruit section and the, and the veggie section, and then we work our way around the exterior of the store. And so I make my list based on that. Um, it gets a little tricky because they're, the Costco in, in um, I wanted to say OGG, <laughs> but it's Kahului, um, it has a different layout. It's almost like it's, I don't, it's just completely different layout. And I always get confused when I'm there. But, so it is what it is. So I try and just group like items with like all the fresh food, all the frozen frozen foods. So I thought it would maybe be interesting. It doesn't need to be its own little separate Hawaii video, I don't think. And so uh, I just, maybe you guys will be interested in this. So this is my Costco haul, pre-haul, I guess my list. So this is my Costco list for when we go. And it just, it really, really helps. Not only does it help me like when, once we're there, but I run this list past my kids and I tell them, okay, what else do you want? What meals do you want at night? What breakfast items do you want? What snacks? Next, do you want to take to the beach? It's, I'm feeding them. So if, and we do get extra things because we're in Hawaii and we're having a fun time and Chelsea wants bacon every day. And Jason and I enjoyed bacon every day when we were there alone. And so we're like, sure, we'll get bacon. And, and at Costco, feeding a family of seven because the boyfriend's coming, it makes sense to get it from Costco now because that's a four pack of bacon. That's literally only four days worth of bacon. <laughs> So it makes sense to get it from Costco. All right, so we're gonna start with our fruit, um, fresh fruit. We're gonna get some bananas, blueberries. Actually, we're gonna get a ton of bananas. I think we're gonna get three bundles of bananas because not only do we eat them for like breakfast and like snack, but we also put them in smoothies. Blueberries, we're probably gonna get one or two pineapples because I like to have pineapple with um, like with chicken at the end of the day or with breakfast. And again, in, in the smoothies if we want to. Um, cuties are easy for the beach along with grapes. So cuties and great are great to take to the um, beach. They just go into the cooler bag. Sometimes we even freeze the grapes so then they're, they kind of act as one of our little ice pack in the cooler bag. Um, and then I'm gonna get like a Caesar salad mix just because then it'll have the dressing with it and I don't have to buy a bottle of dressing. Bagels, actually, so cream cheese is on a different list. Um, and then eggs, milk. We're gonna get pog juice but I think we'll probably get a gallon of it and we'll get a pack of the cans so we can have the, the gallon of it in the room. Um, just using cup and then we can use the cans of it to take to the beach or down to the pool. Again, apple juice is going to be used for smoothies and for breakfast. I can't have orange juice and they don't, don't they do sell it at Costco, but I just, I prefer to have apple juice because that tastes better in smoothies. So it's kind of a double win. Chips, regular bags of chips. And then we're also gonna get box chips when the individual serving so that everyone has their own kind of chips. We end up getting like two or three boxes of the individual chips. Um, we go through those a lot. They're really easy to take to the beach. Then everyone, when they're kind of getting in and out of the water, they can have their own bag. Um, and I, I don't do that at home, but I definitely do it when we're there. I'm gonna get Celsius drinks for the older teenagers, um, just little extra energy drinks. Um, and then frozen fruit. We're gonna get lots of bags of frozen fruit um, and then frozen orange chicken. That'll be dinner for 
for two different nights and there's one, two, three, four of us that will probably eat the orange chicken, which is a great meal. Um, and then Angus burgers. Again, that's just, they can have it for it, run up to the room and have it for lunch or we can have it for dinner. Chicken nuggets, again, they can have it for a late lunch or for dinner if we are not going out to eat. Um, waffles will be our staple <laughs> breakfast item for the kids. Again, they can just make frozen waffles whenever they want to. Um, yogurt, both individual and a tub of it so that we can put it into smoothies. Frozen bacon and um, the veggie pouches for Ashley um, to eat throughout the week. Then I have a list for the grocery store. This one is just barely started, so I'm, it's just kind of getting started. Um, cream cheese for the bagels. Syrup, I'm gonna get a small bag of, or smart, small bottle, bottle of syrup um, for the waffles. Um, and then soda that I can't get I'd like to get like a couple different flavors of soda. So the grocery store is a better place to get the soda. And then I actually am gonna cross off ketchup. So I was gonna buy ketchup there and mustard there because a certain boy loves ketchup and mustard on his nuggets. I'm getting the nuggets mainly for him and Chelsea. But little condiments like that are so expensive in Hawaii at the grocery store. They're so expensive and you're never gonna use the full bottle. And so I am gonna buy those. I might actually do that tomorrow if I go to Target or the grocery store. I'm going to buy the smallest manageable size bottle of ketchup, mustard. I have it on my phone. Do I have my phone? Oh, it's charging. Ke um, ketchup, mu mustard. Um, I might even buy, buy a small bottle of ranch dressing um, for veggies. I want to take um, lots of veggies to the beach. Uh, you tend to snack on fruit and veggies a lot more when you're really hungry at the beach. And so that's a uh, better, like healthier choice. And then I tell the kids you can have the chips and the sodas. But like buying those like condiments here unpacking them I just put them into Ziploc bag and pack them into my checked bag and don't worry about like the um you know I don't have to worry about the liquid and the size and stuff it's so much you guys a bottle of ketchup can be like six seven dollars syrup I might actually buy the syrup and like take it with us because we'll go through a whole bottle of syrup if I have one or two boxes of waffles and a whole bunch of teenagers we'll go through frozen waffles like crazy um and we'll go through that syrup that's not even a big deal but a bottle of syrup we know this from experience a bottle of syrup like I'm not even kidding you like not even as tall as my hand is like eight dollars it's so expensive and when I account for the budget of food like Costco food especially I take that from my regular monthly budget I don't take that from my Hawaii budget like I am a cash budget for Hawaii and I don't take it from my Hawaii funny money because I have to feed my kids this is basic food fruit veggies milk you know meal at night um, and so I take that from my home budget but when I have to like take my home budget and buy like condiments <laughs> From the grocery store that are triple to quadruple the price i can't do that so i'm gonna take that and buy the stuff from here and then if it's almost gone then i'm gonna leave that either for housekeeping or i'm gonna do, um, post it on the pass it along hawaii facebook pages i'm hoping to get some extra stuff from those pages myself when i arrive i'll be like stocking those pages um if you haven't ever checked those out go onto facebook and find the pass it along hawaii facebook pages um because people who are leaving get rid of all their stuff and you can get like a ton of good stuff um, on those. You can get like beach chairs and umbrellas and food and sodas and you can, you name it, you can get it. So I will be checking those things out. But these are just like my tips because we've gone so many times now. Um, I try and save money where I can and I have room in our suitcases. We have plenty of room this time and we won't go overweight. And so um, it's worth my budget to just take it with me. So you um, earning us millions so we can go buy a place in Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> He just got I off his hopefully call. Hopefully, starting that process of yeah. making some money to do something for our future. For our future, it's all about our future. So you just you just relax, hon. I'm working on it. I'll just I'll just sit here. And I'll just relax. You just relax. You just relax. Mm -hmm. Have my Annie's mac and cheese, oh, and yeah. you know, on a budget. You know, wife on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> you eat your mac and cheese while I'm in the room trying to figure out. How to manage the money. All right. I'm, a, okay. I'm, hey, I'm in here managing our money. I'm trying to make our trip affordable by going to Costco and pre-making my list and taking ketchup with us so we don't have well, to pay you know $8 a bottle. You know what? Now, if we do this, we can expense our trips to Utah because we can go and check out the property. Gotta love American tax code. Oh my goodness sake. Because the property's in Utah. Oh, the one that we're investing in is the in one Utah. we would be loaning money on and stuff is in Utah. So, we're, Moab. So, we could meet up with the guy in Salt Lake if we don't go to Moab. Anyways, we could make 
make it a business trip. See, this is my goal for having a property in Hawaii as well, because then our Hawaii trips are expensable. It's gonna be a business expense. Business expense. It's also what I want to do with my YouTube channel, is turn it into a business, and then when we go to Hawaii, it's a business expense, so we're just, we always just think of how we can make our life work for what we want, and then that's how you get somewhere in life, right, Jay? <laughs> yep. Oh, well, that was the most anticlimactic American Idol, and it was unfortunate that it was her. They like split, right? They didn't even show her singing her entire song. If you guys watched, well, it, well, it's because they've highlighted all these people with sob stories, and she's and she just has, an awesome kid yeah, from she a has, good family. Good up, really green. talented. There's no like yeah. sob story. There's no like instant death crap. And she's uh, had like, she's had a music, a voice teacher since she was like two. Like they've well, known her whole life that she could sing. Check her out on Instagram because she's done, well TikTok. She has a oh, bigger TikTok. following. Okay, TikTok. Sorry. She's not One of those Insta kid things. Uh, oh my gosh, you're you're dating yourself right I'm now. I'm joking. Elise uh, Christine and what her her tag name she's is got on some cool ones. Oh my they gosh. really show her range and everything. Yeah, if you want to see her singing um, Phantom of the Opera, go to her TikTok um, yeah. and find her there. So anyways, this is cool seeing her work. Bye, Jacob. I got to see uh, her dad. She's is an absolute terrible person in person. Just you guys know. Shush. That's why you stayed to watch her, huh? What? That's why you stayed to watch her. Her dad yeah. is like my yes. second so or third Hang on. cousin. Hang on. What? What? She made fun of me all the time. Shush. Um, I think you deserved it, dude. She said she would sing at our wedding. She did say that. I, I would pay her to sing at your wedding. I told her I'd pay her not to. <laughs> You're so mean, Jacob. Actually, if, if she becomes she goes on this, we won't be able to afford her. <laughs> we'll need the friend discount for sure. The cousin discount. Yeah, the cousin discount. Yes, we're family. We're family. We're family. Yes. yes. All right, bye, Jacob. I don't know where you're family. So anyway, like they just there wasn't much to show of her. I'm, I feel bad that they didn't film her entire singing. Um, I mean, they kind of did. You got the gist of how good she is, but um, she nothing. Opera, the, there's no story singer. to her, you know. And so, it, it, she, her dad didn't just die last month. I mean, it's not to take away from other people who have those kinds of stories. That she, she just didn't have one. She's just a great singer. Um, but we are excited. And if you watched it and you saw her dad give her the hug and then her dad is the one who ran off with her outside. <laughs> that is who he, Jason, is related to. Um, so that was kind of fun to see him kind of hop and skip, jump away. They were going to like, normally like, they like <laughs> come to like this, like state that they were in. And then, like, well, they will. Intro. Yeah. But they didn't do it for her. Yeah. They might do it like later on, but I don't I know. I bet if she does we'll the find opera out. singing that she did, she would probably get a sil the silver thing. I guess Max and his owner, we always just, Max, um, is supposed to be coming over here in just a bit. So we'll say hi to Max, and then we're gonna close out for the night. Um, ready to, as much as I've slept today <laughs> and rested, I'm ready to go to bed. Um, I wanna watch more of these people. Yeah, I do too. Is that Max? Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi. Hi. No, no, no. Don't eat my cheese. 